Well, another game, another loss. Five, count them five in a row. You know, guys, I think I had a lot more entertaining, entertainment, I should say, cleaning up, you know, my house today. You know, me, my fiance, and her mom, you know, did a lot of <laughs> uh, non-spring slash fall slash winter, whatever you want to call it, you know, cleaning of the house today. Straightened some stuff out, got this place more presentable. Even though the room that I'm sitting in pretty much right now is still a dump. Gotta get to work on this one. Um, but all I can say is, guys, that the effort was there tonight. It was there. You know, especially when we kicked it off with a shorthand goal by Tage Thompson. You know, and those reverse, reverse red shows this year, looking beautiful on the ice. Love seeing that goat head on the, on the chest. They just, un they recently unveiled the... Black and red. It looks absolutely gorgeous. In the last video, I showed you guys that I got one for my fiance. And right now, it's kind of hard to look forward to some of these things, especially just the way that we're playing. But the effort was there, guys. Like I said, it was there. Just couldn't get the results. You know, the one go by Thompson, all I can hear right now is that beautiful sound of the puck hitting the goalpost. Three times I heard that today, and all I just hear it in my head. Ping, 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 But it's the one thing, you know, like, defense still getting pushed around, you know, guys like Fitzgerald and Pilot, and, you know, these guys are just... You know, too small right now to be playing in the NHL. And it's costing us big time, especially not playing the body, not playing a physical game, especially in our own zone. We get pushed around so easily. Boston knows this. And when you play a style like Boston does, a defensive played hockey game, that kind of style, no matter who's between the pipes, they're going to be solid. And Kincaid... Any other team can score on this guy, except for the Sabres. And his record is now shown that. He's 5-1-1 one one against the Buffalo Sabres. And the fact that we struggle against goaltenders like that, but not only that, guys, i got to keep reminding myself, it's Boston. They play a defensive game. You, you know, you got to just try to, like be smarter than these guys. You've got to realize that. Not it's not a real young team. They've got a lot of veterans in that on that team and Patrice Bergeron, who scored two of the goals tonight. God, I wish I could just slip on a pair of skates and put that geezer out of his misery. But not to be an asshole on that, but the fact that We still continue to struggle against Boston. We've lost five games in a row now this year. This is just frustrating, especially how we just started 7-3. But then again, it's a reminder to keep, you know, for Sabres fans to keep your feet on the ground. Especially the fact that we have seen this year after year. Hot start, sloppy finish. But, yeah, we did get a good red-hot finish to the end of our season last season. And we hope, we're hoping to carry it into this year. And I think there's just been a lot of moments where we outplay our opponent. We don't get the results. We don't get the goals. And this has just been brutal to watch, you guys. And I'm pretty sure you can all agree with me that... What do we got to do now? Five games, five losses. Granado, what are you going to do? Kevin Adams, what are you going to do? You know, and I know there's reasons why, you know, guys like Nikita Zaitsev, Mike Riley, you know, defensemen like that were probably put on waivers because the teams that they play for. But think of the opportunity and the chances that they will take and, the, you know, maybe play 
more of a physical game than probably Fitzgerald or Pilot. But you could have probably went after that, and you didn't. So what are we doing? What are you guys waiting for? You know, I'd scream and yell right now, but I'm not wasting my breath right now. I'm not going to push the panic button yet. Not yet. Not yet. But... Sound like a broken record. It's just frustrating, guys. You know, Tage put in another good game. We had a bit of a scare with Darlene getting hurt, limping, out, limping back to the locker room. But he came back on the third, finished the game. Hopefully he's okay. Your captain, day-to-day -day right now. Just like when we we're starting to get players back, we lose a couple more. It's Murphy's Law with this hockey team, I feel like. It's Murphy's Law. We... Every time we take a step forward, we end up taking two steps backwards. So, got one more game at home before going back on the road in Ottawa. We got Vancouver coming. And I'm pretty sure Vancouver's going to be looking for some vengeance. The fact that the last three times they played us, we've beaten them twice at home, twice at their home once at our home now it's the fourth time in the last two seasons expect the unexpected with Vancouver play a solid game that's all I can say um Matias Samuelson hopefully you're doing well with your injury I hope you know you're gonna get back on the ice you're gonna get back in our on our blue line soon Craig Anderson this game wasn't his fault. I'm going to say right now, this game wasn't his fault. I felt like he brought the consistency to the goaltending, and Buffalo just couldn't offensively couldn't execute. So, and I did say this, guys. I'm not expecting Stanley Cup this year, okay? Wasn't expecting it. You know, but I was hoping at least we were going to try for... We're going to try for a push to end this drought at 11 years, get back into the playoffs. Will we get past the first round? Probably not, but it'd be nice. But first, end the drought. But first, we got to get out of this funk that we're in right now. So, guys, I appreciate to all watch this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hit like if you like this video. Click subscribe to my channel. And you guys be safe and take care.